breadcrumbing. Now, breadcrumbing is a manipulator's way to lead the victim on. What they're doing is they're indirectly leading the victim on. They're sending sporadic messages or they're interacting on social media or they're making plans or they're reaching out to the victim at different times, very sporadic times. This is a way to keep the victim stuck on the manipulator. It's the way to keep the victim in their feels so they don't try to abscond from the manipulator. Deflection. Deflection is a manipulator's way to shift the blame and avoid accountability. Rather than take responsibility for their own actions, they find it easier to blame the victim as to why they did what they did. I treated you horribly because you weren't listening to me. I cheated on you because you were never there for me. I hurt you because everybody else in the world has hurt me. It's just they always point the finger everywhere else rather than themselves. Love bombing. Love bombing is pretty much utilizing attention and affection to influence someone else. Love bombing is primarily in the beginning of the relationship where there are constant compliments. There is the, you're my soulmate, you're my everything, we belong together, I can't believe this is too good to be true. It's constant affection and attention in order to influence the target to conform for the perpetrator. It's pretty much laying it on really thick because that will get the victim to be more vulnerable and to actually feel those feelings of trust. Stonewalling. Stonewalling is pretty much the refusal to give answers to questions being asked. Usually stonewalling is coupled with gaslighting. So when they refuse to answer your questions or give a direct response, they'll just lay on the gaslighting. How could you ask those questions? What the hell are you thinking? Can you actually hear yourself? You sound crazy. Listen to yourself. With the gaslighting, the victim is pretty much second guessing themselves. And with the stonewalling, the perpetrator is actually pushing it into the victim's mind that I don't have to answer any of the questions that you have. I don't have to give you anything, including clarity. Trauma bond. And the trauma bond is an unhealthy connection between a manipulator and the victim sustained by reward and punishment behavior. In the beginning, everything is pretty much fine with the love bombing, but for the duration of the relationship, the trauma bonding is pretty much with reward and punishment behavior. One minute they're nice to you, the next minute they're horrible to you. For every time that they're nice to you, they're gonna be just as horrible to the victim. This is a way to conform the victim to comply with the narcissist's desires whatever their needs are, whatever their wants are. When the victim complies, they're given good behaviors. When they're non-compliant, they're given the nasty side, that whole Jekyll and Hyde effect. When the narcissist is issuing punishment to the victim, they're using deflection in that they're letting the victim know, I am acting nasty towards you because of something you had done or had not done. So the victim associates the nasty behaviors with something they had done or had not done. Therefore, they walk on eggshells to keep the narcissist happy, which is why they ultimately get the good behaviors. Hoovering. To hoover is to suck back in. Hoovering is a manipulation tactic used by a manipulator, i.e. a narcissist, to keep their victim stuck in their web. It's emotional blackmail, emotional abuse, emotional control. When they think that the victim may be out of their reach or may be free from their grasp, they will attempt to hoover the victim back in in order to redo the cycle all over again. And of course, ways that manipulators may try to hoover a victim back in is by bringing up good times, old times that they had together, making fake promises for the future, giving false apologies, anything to lure the victim back in, which includes sex. They can try to charm you back in with sex, yes. And once a manipulator has managed to successfully hoover in a victim, the abuse is not only worse, but so is the discard. Because the victim made attempts to try to get away from the manipulator, that is enough for them to try to seek revenge on the victim as well.